Hello students and welcome back to study room. So today we are going to be covering the topic of atmospheric refraction. Now we have seen the phenomenon of refraction already. We have seen how refraction takes place through like a glass slab or a glass material. We have seen how refraction takes place through a lens. Then we saw in the last class how refraction takes place in a prism. What is the phenomenon that happens there? It is dispersion where light splits up into its seven different components. Then we saw how refraction takes place in our eye lens and how our eye lens helps us to see objects clearly. Okay, now we are going to be covering the topic of atmospheric refraction. So I think it's pretty obvious from the name that atmospheric refraction is when refraction takes place through the atmosphere. Like there is not actually any glass or a material kept there but through the layers of the atmosphere refraction takes place. Now we are going to see why that is. Okay. So the first topic that we are going to be covering is why do stars twinkle? Okay. And the simple reason behind this is nothing but atmospheric refraction. Now why does that happen and how does that happen? Look, if this is the original position of the star where it's marked star then the star the light from the star basically has to go through different layers of the atmosphere right you've heard of the different layers the stratosphere troposphere exosphere mesosphere I, so all of these different layers of the atmosphere have have basically di different refractive indices or index so index is singular and indices is when we say in plural so here it says that the refractive index is increasing. That means as we come from the outermost layer of the atmosphere to the innermost layer, the refractive index keeps increasing. That means the air or the atmosphere keeps getting denser and denser. That's what we say, right? When the refractive index of a material is more, it is optically denser. Right. So as we keep coming down in the layers of the atmosphere, the layers keep getting optically denser or in other words, their refractive index keeps increasing. Okay. Keeping this in mind, we're just going to draw a small ray diagram which is going to make it even more clear to you why the stars appear to twinkle. Okay. Now look at this. If a star is somewhere here, Okay, if this is the star and this is the light that is coming from the, this is the light that is coming from the star. It reaches the first layer of the atmosphere. So if we want to see how refraction takes place, what do we do? Obviously, we draw a normal. Then one thing I want to keep, I want you to keep in mind is that space is basically vacuum. There, there is no air. So there is literally no refractive index for the light to be bent. So this space, this region between the star and our Earth's atmosphere, the light from the star goes on without any bending or refraction. That's why I've shown a straight line. Now, if this is Earth, okay, and this is the different layers of the atmosphere, okay. So the light from the light from the star reaches its first layer. Now, because it is going somewhere from vacuum to a air which a atmospheric layer which has some density so it is going from a rarer to denser medium so will it bend towards the normal or away from the normal it will bend towards the normal so it was originally supposed to go like this but it goes somewhere like this a little bit bent towards the normal similarly similarly when this ray reaches the second layer of the atmosphere again we draw the normal again this was originally supposed to go like this but it bends a little bit towards the normal Okay, great. It bends towards the normal again. So this process keeps on going. We draw the normal. We see, okay, it was supposed to go like this, but it goes a little bit like this. So like this, the, now the second thing I told you was that the refractive index keeps on increasing. So that means once we reach like the second or third layer of the atmosphere, the refractive index is even more. That means the air keeps getting even more denser. So if it's more denser, that means would it bend the light towards the normal even more or lesser? It would bend it even more, right? It's even more dense. So light would find it even more difficult to travel through a denser medium. So if this was supposed to go like this, it goes even more towards the normal. So like somewhere like this. 
okay so this keeps on going and suppose all the layers of the atmosphere have been passed and the refraction has been done and this is where so this light was coming like this refraction it keeps on going and this is where we are standing so now for us where are we going to see the light from the star we are not going to see it here exactly where the star originally was why because the human eye perceives light to travel in a super straight line in an absolutely straight line so is this a straight line the light from the star is this a straight line no it's like a curve right so we perceive it with a straight line so if this is the ray that is meeting our eyes or this is the ray that is coming to our eyes from the star we are going to perceive as if this ray is the straight line so what do we do we actually retrace this line and we take it somewhere here so basically what our eyes see is that the light is coming from this point instead of this point so you've seen already there is a shift in the position of the star right the star was actually at point a but the human eye thinks that light travels in a straight line which it does so we are just going to perceive okay the last ray of light that comes into our eyes i can only see it in a straight line so i'm only going to see where this straight line goes when it is retraced that is where the star actually is so our eyes think that the star is at point b when it's actually not okay so what happens here apparent position now why am i using the word apparent position or apparent position that is because the point b is where my eyes and your eyes think the star is but actually is b the point where the star is it's not right the point is actually a so the position of star that eyes our eyes perceive it to be is not the actual position so if it's not the actual position it's like a pseudo position or it's like an apparent position that we think apparent means that is what it seems like we don't know if that is the truth or not but that is what it seems like that's when we use the word apparent or apparent so we write that apparent position of star is actually b but actual position is a right so our eyes basically see the star at a shifted position right now think about this maybe this this ray from this star is not coming like this it's coming a little bit like this it's coming a little bit like this so what happens again refraction 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 maybe it enters our eyes somewhere here so when we retrace this the star seems to be somewhere here so on paper it seems to not be that great of a distance so when i'm drawing here on paper it actually seems that oh there is such a big difference between the in actual position and the apparent position but because the star is millions of kilometers away from us it seems as if the star is at the same place now think about this when someone is very far away from you when someone is standing super far away from you if they just shift a little bit would it even look like they shifted to you whereas if someone is standing right in front of you if they moved a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right it would definitely seem to you as if they have moved you would be able to see it so you must have noticed when you're like driving around in a car it looks like the electricity tower or the electricity tower that looks like an eiffel tower it looks like it's moving with you right even though it is in the same place it's just stationary it's in, it's in one place your car is moving but why doesn't it look like it is being left behind because you are going forward because it is at a very very great distance from you now think about the stars that tower is probably like 2 or 3 kilometers away from you but the star oh my god is so far away from you so just think about how small that change in position of the star would seem to you it would almost seem like the star is in the same position so even though the actual position of the star is a to our eyes it's it looks like it's b and c this next position and similarly the position can be here here all new positions of 
the star after the ray gets refracted through the atmosphere can happen all of these are what are the actual positions or apparent positions all of these except for a are apparent positions so because because of the atmospheric refraction this light that is coming from the star seems to be coming from all these different places all at the same time it actually seems to us like the star is twinkling so the reason you would write is because the apparent position of the star keeps changing due to the atmospheric refraction you don't know which ray is reaching your eye you don't know if this ray is reaching your eye or this ray is reaching your eye right so depending upon where the light is coming from you don't write like depending upon where the light this is just for your understanding i'm telling you like depending upon which ray of light is coming you will see the stars at different positions and because the star is at like millions of kilometers from you even if the star shifts from here to here it would not seem like it shifted like i gave you the tower example so because the star keeps shifting its apparent position but it's very far away from you it seems to be in the same place so it actually looks like it's twinkling like it's going off think about the star is like running from one place to the other the apparent position because it can't actually run it looks like it's like going on off on off so that is nothing but atmospheric refraction coming into play okay now why don't the stars twinkle here what do we mean by here we mean here where is this this is basically an astronaut in space so you remember i told you just before we started doing atmospheric refraction that in space it's basically vacuum right and for refraction to take place we need some kind of a medium be it air be it dense air be it glass whatever it may be there needs to be a medium but in space it is absolute vacuum so there is no medium and why there is no, because there is no medium there is no atmospheric refraction that can take place and because no atmospheric refraction can take place we don't see the stars twinkly because there is no shift in the position of the star there is no apparent position that only takes place when the ray comes after like multiple refractions atmospheric refractions it reaches our eyes but here when you are on the moon or say you are somewhere in space there is no atmosphere to refract the light so the light from the stars directly reach your eye so you are able to see the actual position of the star without any refraction like you are able to see the position of any normal thing kept around you right now like my bottle is kept here my phone is kept here my pen is kept here so it can reach my eye directly because there is no atmospheric refraction taking place but when something is so far away from you it has to go through so many layers of the atmosphere getting denser and denser that is why it looks like it's being shifted because the apparent position is shifting okay 